Four member Garcia, a former doctor at Creighton University Medical Center, is accused of killing four people in 2008 and 2013. Prosecutors allege the murders were revenge killings after Garcia was fired. And the road to trial has been bumpy with delays, and now local counsel for the defense has filed a motion to withdraw from the case. This after Douglas County Attorney Don Klein filed a motion to remove Garcia's Chicago-based defense team. And here's Brandon Scott. The latest plot twist in the legal saga of accused murderer Anthony Garcia could delay his trial again. This time after his attorney, Allison Mata, made a shocking statement to WWT 6 News. It exonerates Anthony Garcia. Mata was referencing newly analyzed DNA evidence from another murder in 2007, not tied to Garcia, but instead to this man, Charlie Simmer. Mata told 6 News Charlie Simmer's DNA was found at a crime scene connected to the Garcia case. Their physical evidence and their DNA evidence establishes undeniably, unmistakably, and without doubt, those murders were committed by two people and that that was Charlie Simmer and his accomplice and not Anthony Garcia. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein claims Mata's statements were flat out false and could taint the jury pool with jury selection set to begin next week. So he filed this motion to kick Allison Mata and the rest of Garcia's Chicago legal team off the case. There's been enough stuff said outside the courtroom and that's part of the issue here. That's especially uh, a no-no, in my opinion. Tom Olson is a former assistant Nebraska attorney general who now practices criminal defense. He believes Garcia's attorney could have crossed the line. One of the caveats as a, as a defense attorney is you have to walk a fine line between what is ethical and what is appropriate to discuss with the media while trying to get out your side of the story, so to speak, for the benefit of your client. And so that's a fine, the specific DNA uh, evidence exonerates your client. Um, that's pretty powerful to have out in the media. And we're live in the newsroom where late today we learned about another dramatic turn. The Nebraska attorney, who was also part of Garcia's defense team, filed a motion to withdraw from the case. State law requires Chicago attorneys to have a, uh, a local attorney as part of their legal team. And in his motion to withdraw, John and Mallory, attorney Dan Stockman, who's based right here in Omaha, said after all of this, he wants to distance himself from the attorneys in Chicago. So, Brandon, a lot of twists and turns. Uh, what happens next? Well, all of this will be heard by Judge uh, Gary Randall tomorrow afternoon, and he has a lot to consider. Legal experts tell me that if Garcia needs an entirely new defense team, he could very well see his trial delayed for months. All right, thank you. That's Brandon Scott reporting live. And as Brandon mentioned, tomorrow afternoon, the judge in this case will hear all of these motions. And uh, WWD 6 News has been on this story from the beginning. We will be there tomorrow with full coverage throughout the day.